Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to set up a custom trigger on Zabbix. In the last video, we had created a custom item for our Linux VM server, which was reporting a string hello world every 15 seconds on the latest data of our custom monitoring item using the hello world script on our Linux VM machine. So we saw this item generates a string called hello world every 15 seconds as per the configuration of the update interval on the item. Now we want to create a trigger which reports in a problematic state on Zabbix when the output of our script is not hello world. In order to achieve this, let's go ahead and open triggers and click create trigger. Let's name our trigger as hello world not found. We will choose the severity as high and we will click on add here to create our Zabbix trigger expression. We will select our item, which is custom app. And we will choose the function as string. So as you can see, the string says find string V in the last value. One is found and zero is not found. So our string would be hello world. And we want this in the last two counts. And the result is not equal to one. So basically, we are telling Zabbix that if the hello world string is not found in last two polls, then this trigger should go in a problematic state. Also, in order to resolve this trigger, we will have to create a recovery expression and select the item once again. And this time, I'm going to choose a function called count. And I want to check the last five polls. And it's going to check hello world. And the operator is going to be like. This being a string, we are going to use the like operator. So there are various Zabbix functions which you need to use in order to create triggers on Zabbix. And you must check out the Zabbix documentation for it. I'll share the link on the description for the Zabbix documentation. We can leave the time shift as blank and we are going to keep the result as more than three. So in this recovery expression, we basically want Zabbix to check the last five poles. And if it finds greater than three poles, which have hello world string on the output, it's going to resolve our trigger. I'm going to put a nice decent description as well for this trigger. And we will go ahead and add the trigger. We can search our trigger using the name what we had created. So currently, as you can see, the output is hello world of the item. And hence, the state of the trigger is OK. Now, we are going to tweak our script so that the trigger goes into a problematic state. Let's go ahead and open our Linux machine and edit our script to something like hello. And we will go back and refresh the latest data. OK, so it has got one poll. And we'll check the problem state parallelly. OK, so in two polls, it did not find hello world. So this should be in a problematic state now. 
that's great. As you can see, the Linux VM is now in a problematic state. You will also be able to see this in a problematic state here. Just refresh it once and you'll see it's in a problematic state. Now, in order to resolve this, we'll update our script once again so that the output is hello world on the script. And we are going to wait for five poles for the trigger to get resolved. OK, so we have got one pole, and, and the trigger is still in a problematic state. So it's going to take roughly a minute for four poles to happen because it's happening every 15 seconds. OK, we are at three poles now, but still the trigger is in a problematic state. OK, so we are at four poles now, which is greater than three. And let's see if the trigger is resolved or not. As you can see, it has come in a resolved state when the latest data has been polled with hello world with more than three times in five polls. If you would like to learn about more Zabbix functions, please feel free to comment on the video and I would like to create videos on those Zabbix functions. I hope this has been informative for you. I would like to thank you for viewing.